We have yet another sudden and unexpected passing taking place, this time to a popular YouTube gamer, but that is not all that Sophia Denverno was. We're gonna get into all the details of it here in just a second. First guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And um, guys, I invite you, you know, if you are interested in hearing my story about how I went blind and how I do these videos in my ministry, um, I'll have a link in the description here of this video. Uh, you can check out my whole story for those that are interested. So I just want to pass that along. We're going to talk about Sophia Dinverno, 23-year-old popular YouTube gamer, as I mentioned here at the top, but not just that, um, an athlete, somebody who was, you know, who played soccer for a portion of their life who also was, you know, very into horse riding, um, equestrian. I mean, somebody who just, you know, wore many hats. And it was on January 17th that Sophia had passed suddenly at the age of 23 years old. No details, at least as of this time, have been made known about the cause of the passing. But for Sophia, somebody that was loved by many, in fact, uh, as I mentioned here, she was a popular YouTube gamer, had well over 100,000 subscribers. In fact, on her channel, she was part of the, the Star Stable theme on YouTube. This was um, a group that was you know, also into horse riding, and her name on there was Violet Flower Garden, was the name that she went by. And they actually, what they did was they held a, a sort of virtual memorial for her uh, as a part of that community back on January 26th to pay their respects uh, and, uh, and tributes to, for them, what was an amazing individual, uh, somebody who made an impact everywhere that she went and left this world far too soon. Again, a lot of speculation about what it might have been, and just right now it's anybody's guess. Uh, we just don't know. So I welcome anybody, you know, if you have any thoughts here, if you, you knew Sophia, if you were, you know, a part of her gaming community and you'd like to chime in, um, your thoughts on her passing. One thing is, here's one thing we can all agree on. There's way too many people, especially young people that are leaving this world, uh, especially over the last year. And, you know, we all have our, you know, different theories and stuff on why that may be. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, these people are going to be truly missed by their families, their friends, all who knew them. And what I want to do right now, and I will put more information on this in the description, is I want to end this video on hope. This is something I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. You know, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines here, and I, I talk about how our world is just in, uh, it's basically we are living the days uh, the book of Revelation talked about in the Bible. A lot of evil out there. And, you know, maybe you're tuning into this channel for the first time, but what I want to do is I want to invite you the opportunity to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. So if you're watching right now and you're someone that has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now, that is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the Word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask Him to forgive you, He'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says He doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior, when you do that, you become born again, a child of God, and you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, prayers going out to all of Sophia Denverno's family, friends, that God would be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.